So gentrification is something that happens. It's sort of like a natural part of the city's growth. Um, what I think is challenging is when uh, people who live in communities feel like they cannot participate in a way where they benefit from the influx of new ideas and new people who come to a city. As you walk around now, you see all of these luxury condos that are sitting completely empty and you kind of wonder where everyone went. But then you walk a few more blocks through Chinatown to the lake and then suddenly there's this explosion of activity, of people. You know, there's life kind of happening. So we'll be bringing a festival of immersive arts to Oakland in July. And, you know, Oakland artists have been doing this forever. They've been putting on festivals and arts events, and what we are doing in Immersive Arts Alliance is hopefully just adding to that. What I want to see happen through Immersive Arts Alliance, what I want to see happen through this festival is bridging that gap between the downtown and the lake. Cities that sit empty, you know, become these like ghost towns. Um, but what if we could reanimate, uh, what if we could reanimate the streets? What if we could reanimate the city? One of the projects I'm really excited about who selected for the festival is led by local artist Damien McDuffie. And the name of his project is AR Museum for the People. It's an open air museum uh, comprised of Black Panther murals throughout the city. Uh, when I started developing augmented reality, I saw, started seeing the murals kind of as one larger story. And with it being able to add digital layers to each mural, that means that we can go from one mural to the next mural and fill in a story in between and connect them over time. So now the AR Museum for the People is literally um, an augmented reality tour of Black Panther uh, monuments throughout the city. I think the nice thing about like immersive arts is it allows people from all different walks of life, all different types of abilities to experience art in really unique ways. What's exciting about this being a public art project is that anyone walking the streets of Oakland has a chance to enter into this work. I think the Oakland Festival for Immersive Arts is just about um, uh, bringing art to the people and being able to make it easy and accessible. I look at augmented reality as just a channel. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. The Black Panther Party is a great way for folks in my neighborhood of West Oakland. Um, uh, people will really uh, understand the history of Oakland to engage in augmented reality and then figure out how to use it for themselves. Everybody in their closet has photos of their families, photos of their grandparents, documents and things like that, that aren't part of this digital world. So, you know, this is my roundabout way of like encouraging people to take those archives that are in their closets and bring them into this world. I think the festival gives us a chance to reanimate the city and reanimate the streets with what Oakland, I think, has always been committed to, which is art and culture. And I think this is a chance not to lose that. And I think we did lose a lot of that in part because of skyrocketing rents, in part because of uh, the devastation of COVID. But I think there's the chance to bring that back and to get back some of that, uh, some of what made Oakland Oakland in the first place. <laughs>